Hey Taurus, <clears throat> these are your general messages for September 15th through the 30th. They are your bi-weeklies, they may or may not resonate. <clears throat> Always check your moon, your rising, um, as well as your weeklies to get further clarification. For those of you that have purchased the $20 reading for the month of September only, my gratitude goes out to you. Thank you so very much. Um, for the sign that likes, comments, uh, the most, the month of September, I am offering a free reading come October. I will draw that come October. Um, please do subscribe if you so choose to. Click the notification bell. All right, and comments are always welcomed. Okay, they're very helpful. So I do read the comments should you choose to comment. And thank you to those who have. Um, this um, channel accepts donations. That link is down below. And as well as my email should you wish to receive a personal private reading. Taurus, bi-weekly, September 15th through the 30th. Let's see what's going on. Three for you, three for your love interest and or current situation, three for the outcome, as well as an overall clarifications, clarifiers as necessary. All right, Taurus, you could be dealing with the Leo, um, Sagittarius or Aries. All right, the Queen of Wands here um, is very... She's, it, it embodies the energy of Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Obviously, she's very passionate. Okay, she's very intuitive. She knows what she wants. She goes after it. Okay, she's looking off at the, in the distance here um, with this feeling of manifestation, right? Of drawing into her here, drawing into her what it is that she so seeks. The Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in the outright. Oh, and the Queen of, uh, excuse me, the Knight of Swords in reverse here. Interesting. Um, Taurus, with this Three of Pentacles, right, I, I don't really consider the Three of Pentacles a third-party situation until I continue on with the, with the reading while I have um, a higher understanding. But the Three of Pentacles here is teamwork, right, um, coming together um, as a team, either in a partnership or in a relationship here. All right, some sort of project with this eight of pentacles, all right, in the upright. This could be indicative of your finances, okay? This could have something to do with you, um, you know, with the seven of pentacles and working on your eighth here, really just paying attention to detail. Um, you could very well be dealing with um, earth signs such as yourself, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. But I feel like someone is putting in more effort and energy than someone else, okay? And it's leading to a situation where, you know, maybe communications are coming in and going out, um, flighty information with this knight of swords, right? Um, the, the knight is also can, can be considered, you know, a, a delivery of messages, okay, delivery of its action, All right? So someone is not really putting forth the action here um, as it in a reciprocated manner where someone else is, All right? So there, there's more of one person is putting in more than the other person is is um giving all right this could be how you're feeling this could be how you're viewing the situation with this queen of swords you might want excuse me queen of wands um you're looking at the situation as to how it can better be rectified right how there could be more of a balance here again this could be finance doesn't have to The Nine of Swords in the reverse, mm, the Ace of Pentacles in the upright, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so with the Nine of Swords, we are coming out of um, depression. We're coming out of anxiety, sleepless nights, worrying over a particular situation. I feel like it could very well have to do with it, given the fact that it's right beneath this Three of Pentacles. We're no longer putting in the effort and the energy as it relates to um, anticipating someone else or something else coming in to help us achieve what uh, this, this Ace of Pentacles here, help us achieve a new beginning. OK, a financial stability, emotional stability. I mean, the, the pentacles for me, even though it's it is um, the earth element, um, this this hands of God, this new beginning is all encompassing. Um, when I look at the pentacle, I feel as though it's all encompassing of the four suits here. So, you know, you're no longer you're feeling either you or the person that you're dealing with or the situation at hand 
is paying every attention to the detail to ensure that this new beginning comes in, whether it's financial, spiritual, emotional, this new beginning at, at whatever level, one person is recognizing that it is up to them, okay, with this seventh, uh, excuse me, this eighth pentacle down here, it is up to them to pay attention to the detail in order to make this come, come to fruition, right? That's what the queen, the queen of Wands is all about, right? Taking action, putting forth the necessary steps, passion, manifesting what it is that he or she desires. It is a queen, but it, it, energies, you know, are embodied both masculine and feminine, all right? So we, you know, come out of this no longer um, feeling um, overwhelmed or burdened by someone not putting in someone not putting in their dues here, okay? Someone else not putting in what it is that they need to put in, energetically speaking. And this could involve the home, this could involve a marriage, this could involve any celebration and or festivity, okay? The four is foundation, the four of wands is a stable, happy, harmonious foundation, all right? So, you know, energies and or communications coming in and out, Taurus, as it relates to this particular topic, okay? One recognizing that they're the one that has the control and power in order to make things happen, um, not relying or depending on someone else for happiness and new beginning. All right. I'm seeing someone here too, definitely putting forth the effort um, to, you know, maintain a stable foundation in their home life as well as their financial life. And new beginnings are going to come in with that. Yeah, someone is definitely, we have, um, I don't know if you can see these, I'm sorry if you can't. We have the Seven of Pentacles, okay? You know, um, the Hermit in Reverse here, and the Eight of Swords. So, this Hermit in Reverse here, it could be dealing with the Virgo, okay, as well, you know, you, Taurus, or it doesn't have to be, right? As well as a Fire Sign, um, but... With this Hermit in Reverse, we've went within, we're recognizing what we have control and power over here, what is worth continuing to invest in and what is not, all right? Again, this could be in any area of your life. It doesn't have to just be intimate relationships, but we're making the decision now, you know, we may have felt, you know, um, entrapped. We may have felt overwhelmed and suffocated as it relates to this situation, a financial situation, a home situation, a relationship. But now we're going within, right? Where uh, we've come, we, we've recognized now here with the hermit, right? Time is, we went within and did what it is that we needed to do to, to think things through, recognizing that only we have control and power to, um, you know, remove these, the, the blindfold, remove, you know, um, the handcuffs, so to speak, right? To get ourselves out of this state. Only you have the control or someone in your life is feeling that way. Okay. Again, coming out of the nine of swords, the eight of swords, the nine of swords, um, the seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles as it relates to the three of pentacles. So this has a lot to do with teamwork, a lot to do with going within and assessing um, what's the next step. Someone recognizing that they're the one with all the control and power in this situation. I want to get some, some clarity on the Seven of Pentacles. What is it that we are putting forth the effort in? What new beginning is coming in? What are we debating whether or not we should continue investing in or not? Again, this could be a home situation, family situation. All right, we've thought long and hard with this. And <laughs> hang man. So, you know, either you, the opposing party, the situation overall is still still deliberating, okay? Still trying to assess whether or not this is worth it, how this new beginning is gonna come in, okay? Um, you know, it, it's delayed right now. Um, definitely with this hangman, there's a delay in, in this Ace of Pentacles coming in. But if you've been waiting for a new beginning in one specific area of your life, Taurus, it is coming, it's just on delay right now. And I feel as though, um, with some patience and some time and some more meditation, perhaps more manifesting the law of attraction, recognizing that, you know, it's not necessarily going to be 
um, a human being, right? So not putting all your efforts and energies into um, expecting someone else to be responsible for this new beginning, but that you um, need to take action yourself in order to make this come in, all right? And if this isn't you, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, certainly. All right, and letting go of the past. I'm feeling as though, um, you know, someone here has invested emotionally into a particular situation, right? And has anticipated or expected someone else outside of this situation or relationship to provide, to plug in. And that hasn't happened to um, the depth and degree that one would like, okay? So now they're beginning to recognize that they need to take control over the situation. They need to release and let go of any expectation or anticipation they had had. And that by doing so, and yeah, okay, this may be love interest, okay? Could be dealing with the Cancer, um, Scorpio, or Pisces. But, you know, recognizing that this new beginning... Um, you know, the page in the reverse, he, he offers his love, yes, but in reverse, it's not necessarily what one thinks it is, especially with this Knight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Swords here in the upright, um, beginning to rec recognize that one's happiness, right, one's um, financial stability, spiritual stability, mental, mental, okay, stability here with this Nine of Swords in reverse and this Eight of Swords, um, that one's happiness um depends on oneself and not an external party here who may be saying one thing and doing another all right we need to kind of release and let go of that at this time right king of wands in reverse so the overall energy is the queen and you have the king here in reverse. So I'm definitely feeling that you are not on the same page with someone um, who is very important to you in this particular scenario. This could be a boss. <clears throat> this could be a family member. This could be an intimate relationship. However, um, for Taurus, Taurus is recognizing that you two are not seeing eye to eye. You're not like-minded. Certain messages that are coming in as it relates to um, the emotional investment in a particular situation, either it be career, home, whatever the case may be, one is becoming enlightened, okay, um, as it relates to the expectations of someone external to them and their responsibility um, regarding a particular situation here. So, um, Taurus, I feel like, you know what I'm feeling like? You're taking the bull by the horns, you know? And if you're not doing it, someone else is doing it. You know, like that's saying that, like, if you want something done right, do it yourself, okay? Whatever area this means for you. Ooh. All right, and that was the three of cups, okay? You could be waiting on a reunion, all right? You could be waiting on some sort of celebration that just isn't coming in right now, especially with this, this four of wands, all right? You're expecting something here to come in. You could very well could be waiting for an engagement, all right? And it not happening, but... At this point here, you will have reason to celebrate, all right? You or, or who, you know, um, whatever situation this is or whatever person outside of you this, this may be, will have reason to celebrate once they take back their control and their power and stand in the Queen of Wands energy. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. I do hope um, these messages were helpful. Um, they seemed a little erratic. However, um, I see the bigger picture. And again, if you would like a personal reading, by all means, my email is down below, $20 only this month. And um, I wish you all the luminous love, light blessings, peace and serenity. And I look forward to talking to you again soon, Taurus. Bye.